Welcome to Backyard Basics. I'm Guy LeBlanc. Oak wilt is one of the most devastating tree diseases in central Texas. It's actually a systemic disease caused by a fungus and is very often fatal. The disease primarily spreads underground from the roots of one tree to the next. Live oaks tend to root graft more than other species, which makes them extremely susceptible. Red oaks are also very susceptible. Post oaks and bur oaks are not known to contract the disease in central Texas, but may be susceptible in other areas. Although there are many aspects to oak wilt and its control, today I'll focus on pruning and how it impacts the spread of the disease. One control measure is to avoid pruning at certain times of the year. For years, the Texas AgriLife Extension Service and Texas Forest Service have recommended avoiding pruning from February 1st through June 30th, when weather conditions and insect populations are ideal for disease spread. New disease centers can begin when insects carry the fungal spores to fresh wounds. Once a tree is infected, the fungus can spread through root grafts to a healthy tree. This is one reason why it is important to always prune oaks using the correct techniques. Many wounds are caused by factors out of our control, like windstorms and hail. Animals, especially squirrels, birds, and insects, cause countless wounds on oaks very often in spring. Also, in urban areas, limbs scrape against buildings and low limbs over streets are constantly battered by vehicles. Fortunately, oak wilt is not extremely effective at colonizing such wounds, otherwise the losses from oak wilt would be far greater than they have been. However, many certified arborists from around the state believe that properly removing such branches as soon as they are noticed, rather than waiting several months, would reduce the risk of oak wilt. This is why the Extension Service and Forest Service guidelines were recently amended to explain that some pruning can be done in the spring months. This would include pruning to eliminate limbs rubbing against buildings, or even against other limbs in the canopy, or those at risk of being hit by vehicles. Hazardous limbs should always be removed as soon as they are noticed. And dead branches can be removed at any time of year since dead tissue can't act as an infection court. Although any cut that exposes live tissue could conceivably cause infection, small root sprouts cut at ground level are not likely to. The guidelines also emphasize practicing proper pruning techniques at all times. This includes making proper pruning cuts to maximize the tree's defenses against infection. As soon as you make a cut, you also want to apply a thin layer of low toxicity paint to all wounds at all times of the year. I personally use an aerosol latex paint. For more details on these oak wilt guidelines, please visit arborvitaetreecare.com. For Backyard Basics, I'm Guy LeBlanc.